this week, you have got an important message for you. We don't know what that is. You need to go in, but we want you to form a line, single file. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. My name's uh, Andrew Wildsmith, I'm from Birdwell, Barnsley, and I'm uh, 50 this year. <laughs> and how long have you worked here for? I've worked here 20, 23, 24 years. So I've had some good times and some bad times as well. So, yeah. Good. What's been happening recently? Obviously you said you've been on short work. But... Recently we've uh, uh, been put on short time. So lads <laughs> have been losing their uh, two hours and then their, uh, I was on Friday, so we're, uh, but then others have been told they're on other time. Management haven't lost anything, so we've begged to believe. And then, uh, as I say, on Friday, we've just got a text message to say that uh, the factory were going to be shut. I mean, text message all things, nothing but kicking the teeth, you're kind of it, it's, that long. Sorry, it was disgusting. And people were having the dinners, teas like that. There were people having their, uh, on wedding anniversaries, on holiday, and all they got for a text, and that is disgusting. So what are you here today? Happen to well, we've been told there's a meeting today, right? So everybody's turned up, and uh, um, but we don't even know what's going off yet. And obviously, you've worked here for that long. Kind of, if, is there any chance you think this will be open again, or are you going to start looking for other work as well now? Well, if it opens again, I, which I do, you know. Try and get back to some normality if uh, there's different managers and all like that. Because management can't help with this by lying to lads and not being faithful with them. I mean, just a week before Christmas as well, you can... Well, it's worst time for it. Eight weeks before Christmas. Come on, just to get a text saying that uh, uh, it's shut with no explanation. We've been asking, everybody's been asking in meetings what's going off and blatantly they've just not told us. They've kept it all down. Do you want to just tell me a bit about kind of why you're here, what's happened? Yeah, we're down here at local councillors today to support these uh, these workers who are demonstrating. Um, it's pretty clear the strength of feeling down here, um, that the company's shafted these workers, frankly. Um, they need to do the right thing, they need to make sure that everybody gets paid um, and everybody gets what they're entitled to. Um, from a council's perspective, we'll do everything that we can to support, um, be that through a skills team and an economic development team to try and find alternatives for uh, the workers who have been affected. But the message is plain and, clear, plain and simple, the company needs to do the right thing here. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm definitely the local MP for the, for the area and I've been in touch with some constituents over the weekend and indeed the trade union that represents workers here at Safe Style. I mean, I think it's absolutely shocking. We don't really know what's happened, but what we do know is that workers received a text message on Friday and basically telling them to down tools and leave the site and come back on Monday to sort of find out what, what their fate is. It's, it looks likely that hundreds of people are going to lose their jobs and that's obviously devastating for the local area. No, of course, and as you can hear in the background, the people are very upset and very angry, and you've got people with over 20 years' experience treated in such an appalling way. No, no, and I think, you know, obviously we want people to receive their money that they're due and not have to go through the government scheme because that will take up to six weeks. I mean, none of this is proved, but we understand that even uh, last month they were paying out dividends and that there were millions of pounds of orders on the books. So I think um, asking where that where the money has gone and why it's not being given to employees and, and just how a, what seemed like a very profitable business has ended up in this position. Thank you, I appreciate it.